Hey folks, hope you're doing good today. Uh, as you can see, we just had Testify on the intro there. If you still want to get me an intro in, just four seconds long, send that in. The reason we had Testify up first is because we've got Testify on the channel today because it's going to be hardcore day on the channel today. I was having a look through all my videos and I bunched them up into kind of genre and things like that. Today we've got some very, very nice hardcore bands by the sound things. I haven't checked out the vids, just heard a couple of seconds uh, and they sounded pretty good. And I must say... Everything we've got coming up this week is going to be 10 out of 10 by the sound of things. If you can tell that from just a couple of seconds, you know it's going to be good. Anyway, we'll get Testify up on the channel. This is again on the Hardcore Worldwide channel. I'll give them a shout out to them again because they're a good channel. Uh, and we've had a couple of vids from them now. So yeah, go check out their channel. Give them a subscription and everything else. This track's called Sheep Part 2. Uh, we missed Part 1, but we'll get Part 2 on the screen. Let's see what it's all about. It's like a high quality video. Here we go. Yeah. Good guitar tone. got the sound you want, good guitar tone, good shouty gravelly vocal, sounds like he's going on about something important to him as well which is what we want to hear, a bit of passion, yeah, nice washy cymbals, you know I like my washy cymbals, yeah, Now this video is heading close for Metal Band in a Warehouse video, <laughs> which I've spoken about before, but I'll let them off. Yeah, love a bit of powerful group vocal. These guys have got a nice tone, the vocal sits nicely with the guitar tone, they complement each other nicely, the drums just sound right, good washy cymbals, which you want. Great, a nice backwash in the music. Good snare sound. Yeah. Got all the energy changes that you want to feel. Nice, is that us done? That's us done already. Well, we'll just watch the end of the vid. Oh, that's it. Wow, there you go, that was Testify. Uh, well, I'll just give them a nice. a nice straight off the bat because that was very nice. My kind of stuff. Uh, as you know, this is my kind of jam. Uh, good ass hardcore, good energy, shouty, aggressive hardcore. Uh, they're the right guitar tone, the right gravel in the vocalist voice, uh, and the drums. <coughs> excuse me, the drums just sounded right as well. Um, so yeah, I will say we didn't particularly hear the bass too much in this mix. That's fairly typical for hardcore, as we've spoken about many times. Uh, but yeah, hardcore bands, crank up your bass a little bit more. Uh, that's my only kind of thing that I wish hardcore would do a bit more, is crank up the bass. Uh, but that's about it. But yeah, let's have a quick look at these guys' information, see if there's anything interesting on here. These guys are from Quebec, so another nice, uh, you know, Canadian band. Hardcore, been going 2016. So yeah, good stuff. Uh, if you're going to be on the Hardcore Worldwide channel, I'm pretty much going to know it's good stuff. But we had the intro from them anyway, so I've been listening to that intro for probably a week or two now. Uh, so yeah, nice stuff. Right, we're going to move on to the next band. More hardcore for you today. Different kinds of hardcore. Um, that one was more kind of pure hardcore is what I'd call that. Um, but it sounds like what we're going to get in the next couple of bands is a bit more kind of uh, chaotic and, uh, you know, a less in, in the kind of pocket type hardcore. So let's see what these guys have got. These guys are called Strike the Chord and Burn, which is a pretty cool name. Uh, this track's called Coils, and it's a lyric video. So we'll get it on the screen. Let's see what this one's all about. 
a bit quieter, this one. So yeah, you can hear it's hardcore, but it's different to the last band, which is what I like about hardcore is, is hardcore is the attitude and the vibe and the drumming to some extent, but there'll be lots of different styles of hardcore, so it's a big genre. These guys are kicking ass as well. Now these guys have got a different sound to them in terms of the time. I'd say these are kind of late, early 2000s sound. And so with that last band, but they're different sounds within the hardcore genre. This is more the kind of dirty end, I guess you'd say. Darker end, a bit blackened. Yeah, nice tremmy riffs. Not as pumping as the last band, but still got that hardcore energy. Good cleans. Yeah. Nice. I like the mix on this, it's very dark. It's not got a lot of high ends to it, it's kind of had those cut off which makes it that dark, slightly muffled sound, but it sounds good. So I say it's kind of blackened, it's almost like black and hardcore which is very cool. And a bit of kind of post-hardcore as well in there, so yeah, these guys are bringing a few different things to the table. As I say, I like about hardcore is you get the passion and the emotion usually in the vocal and through the music. The actual music can be very varying degrees uh, of hardcoreness, which is really nice. Yeah, these guys have got a good sound. The mix, it's all come together in the mix to give that dark, blackened tone. It sounds good. Gives it a vibe, you know? Again, nice washy cymbals. You have a sustain on that last hit there. Loads of sustain. I just think that works well in pretty much all metal, in my own opinion, but particularly in hardcore, washy cymbals just create that nice backwash to your music. Yeah, listen to the sustain on those cymbals. I'm sure they've added extra reverb to them as well. Yeah, it creates a real nice wash in the music. This guy's got a good clean voice, you know, I'm a bit of a no-cleans guy, but I'm enjoying his voice. Yeah, it's got, it's got a nice kind of a... Uh, I'm not sure how to describe it. Grown man singing style to it, if you know what I mean. It's the best way to describe it. Nice. It's got a good voice, actually. Goes well with the music. Yeah, these guys are nice. They got a nice black. I'm going to call this black and hardcore, if that's even a thing. Um, because it's, it's got that dark edge to it, you know, these, compared to the last band, which were like pure aggression, these guys are a bit darker, they've got a, you know, a dark side to them as well, um, but they're expressing that through the hardcore, yeah. If you've heard any of my own stuff, you'll know I've got a dark side as well in music, it's one good way of releasing that side of you. Got this kind of guitar in now, it's more kind of reminiscent now in Deathcore, this kind of guitar in. Uh, but it adds a nice atmosphere to your music when you've got a lot of reverb and these kind of wailing, dissonant riffs. Cool. Yeah, I like his voice. It's, with cleans in hardcore, I'm either straight on board or I'm not. 
now I can tell within a second whether it's going to be something that connects with me. This guy's good. I like it. Yeah, it sits nicely in the music. Doesn't sound like he's, you know, just doing it for effect. It's part of the music. It's cool. Good track. I'll give them a quick nice while we can, because uh, that was very nice. Good track. Strike the chord and burn coils. Enjoyed that one very much. As I say, hardcore again, uh, but different to the first band. Uh, and I think the next band's going to be a bit different again. Uh, but that was very nice. Uh, as in, I'm going to call it black and hardcore. I don't know if that's even a thing, but just for this, uh, for the purposes of trying to describe how the, mu how the music came across to me, I'm going to just call this black and hardcore because it had that dark blackened tone to it and sound to it. Um, and, and, but it was still hardcore as well. So yeah, very nice combination you got going on there, guys. Uh, you know, I'm into black, I'm into hardcore, mix them together, can't go wrong in my opinion. We'll have a look if they've got any information that's worth looking at on their uh, Facebook here. Uh, it says they're looking for a record label, so they're unsigned. A uh, good high quality band, I would say these. The, the, the mix was good as well, so I don't know if they did the mix themselves. Uh, you tend not to find that hardcore bands do their own mixing in my experience actually. Uh, they tend to always look for someone else. Uh, but yeah, it was a good mix, whoever did the mix. Um, and it captured that, as I say, kind of dark and black and dark tone. Good stuff. Last band for today. We'll move on to them now. This band is called Quantum Drop Love. Uh, and their track is S-Y-O-T-O-S. It's an official lyric video again. We'll get this straight on the screen. Let's see what this band's all about. All good quality videos as well, by the looks of things, so yeah, those don't come for free. As you can hear, these guys have got a different sound again. This sounds a bit more kind of post-hardcore, I guess you'd say. Nice. Got, got a different energy to it, a bit more of a positive energy, I'd say. Again, nice washy cymbals. They've done a good job on that. All three bands have had good cymbals. Yeah, the drums sit nicely in the mix. Again, this is quite a dark tone for hardcore. It's not beefy, pumping guitars. Some vocal layering, we spoke about that. Nice. High quality mix again. Yeah, the vocal layering works good. This guy's got kind of a more a high pitched voice, a singing voice at least. And when you when you vocal layer it more of a high pitched voice, it adds a nice depth to it, a nice thickness to the vocal. Doing a good job there. And I'm on board with these cleans as well. This is kind of a bit more um, punky, I guess you'd say, in terms of the uh, the vocal. Yeah, sounds good. It's recorded well. The vocal layering, adds, as I say, gives it nice depth, thickens it up a bit more. I think if it was just been a single layer, it, it wouldn't have carried as well. Yeah, nice. These guys have kind of got that uh, almost kind of grungy tone to it. Indie. Now we can hear the bass in this mix, putting your ear to it. 
saying that it's not a very cut through bass as it is and it doesn't cut through the mix what it's doing is just creating those subtones those sub bass tones to support the guitars and just you know, create a nice low end to the music can't actually particularly hear the tone of the bass as I said in the first video it's fairly typical in hardcore still nowadays that, that if anything's going to get neglected it's the bass just crank it up guys yeah, I like the vocal on this they've done a nice job with the layering with the backing vocal so it adds a nice depth and width to the vocals as I say I think if it had just been a single track of this higher pitch vocal it would have been quite thin it wouldn't have carried the music as well but the way they've recorded it and put it together it does sound very nice in the mix I can be happy with that I was waiting for a bit of growl because we have had a lot of singing but his voice does carry the music but I mean I wouldn't if you know me I'm a no clean scar I was just like come on let's get a bit of growl in here thing is sometimes with these kind of bands uh, you can find that they kind of slot themselves into those singy shouty type of things where they, they sing the verse or shout the chorus or vice versa and in my opinion that's been overdone by now um, those bands are kind of ten a penny uh, and these guys have gone with the you know mostly singy uh, actually that's more unusual than not um, so yeah good choice in my opinion that they sound a bit different purely because they haven't done the kind of shouty singy stuff so good nice guitar tone this one, as I say, is a bit more indie, a bit more grungy hardcore, and that just again goes to show, still got that hardcore vibe to it, post-hardcore more so, I guess you'd say, in this one. Um, but it, again, it just goes to show, and this is why I wanted to group the bands like this by genre, rather than, you know, if we just had a punk band, a hardcore band, and a death metal band, that's kind of cool. Uh, but I'm trying to see now if grouping them together, so we've got three hardcore bands tomorrow, we've got three death metal bands, I think we've got another three death metal bands after that, then we've got some rock. So, you know, I've kind of grouped them up like that. Uh, and what I'm thinking this might show is that, you know, genres now are so diverse, so many sub-genres to each genre, and each sub genre has got a subgenre to it as well by now um that you know if you call yourself a hardcore band nowadays or if you call yourself a death metal band or whatever it is black metal uh people really haven't got an idea what your band is necessarily unless you're a classic you know hardcore band or a classic death metal band uh you know you could be a whole bunch of music now um so it's interesting to say you know we've got hardcore day on the channel but here's three totally different hardcore bands uh and they don't sound really anything alike but they've still got that undercurrent of hardcore to them or whatever genre it's going to be going forward so i think that's a pretty cool way to look at these videos um three very nice bands all different as i say hardcore bands you know i'm into my hardcore uh, and one of the reasons i'm into hardcore is because you can say i'm into hardcore and you're actually into a bunch of styles of music from you know chilled out atmospheric -y kind of uh, post met uh, not metal post uh, hardcore stuff to slamming aggressive violent kind of pure hardcore um and then even on top of that you've got mathcore and everything else where it just goes off you know totally off kilter and <laughs> loses all sense of what's going on um so it's you know it's a wide range when you say you're into hardcore you're not just you know oh i'm not just a kind of beat down hardcore guy you could be into so many different styles of music and just still be into hardcore so there i've rambled on too much about what hardcore is and isn't there um but yeah three nice bands three hardcore bands um I enjoyed every single one of those. I hope you did as well. That's going to be it for today. See you around. Bye.